Good evening, YouTube family. Happy hump day. Welcome into Deborah's most intimate moments in Deborah's quiet corner. How is everyone today? I hope you had an amazing Wednesday. I know a lot of us are trying to get ourselves prepared for the holiday. Next week is actually the Thanksgiving actual holiday week. So, then we have Black Friday, where everyone can go into the stores and get all the sales online, cyber shopping, any way you want to do it, they're going to have it available for you to do it, so you can spend that money. As I said in the earlier video, don't spend what you don't have, don't go overboard, and use those credit cards and put all of this stuff on your credit cards that you know you're going to have to pay off. Okay, just be wise in that. I'm just going to come on here briefly and talk about people that come on social media. And they really want to argue with someone in particular. They have like some kind of gripe with somebody. And they come on YouTube and they be fussing. They be fussing up and down because they didn't go to that individual or they did go to them and they didn't get done fussing with them. So they want to come on and act like they got a topic and then they want to fuss. They want to fuss up and down for at least 25 minutes about something that they didn't got into with somebody. But then they come across like, you know, I'm just talking on this topic and I want to bring out these details and I want to show, uh, you know, how you handle this type of situation and that type of situation. And no doggone straight, they come in on arguing and continuing that fussing that they didn't get to finish out with that individual that they had their problem with. So they come on here and they just fuss, 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 fuss. Looking all mean and aggressive and feel like they were in their rights to come on here and do that. That's not, this ain't the place for that. And then people go and watch it. And that's the surprising part, that people are willing to go on there and watch the nonsense that you just sat on there for about 25, 30 minutes just fussing. Now, you didn't fuss with the person. You didn't told them how you feel. That ain't enough. So now you want to continue to fuss publicly on YouTube in front of everybody and come off like you're trying to teach some kind of a lesson. No, come on, stop the nonsense. Just be real and let the people know that. Because the people that you didn't fuss with, let me tell you, they already know why you want to continue in that nonsense that you didn't came on here continuing and just going off for at least, like I said, the last 25 minutes. Um, they already know who you're talking about because you already told them off. But see, that ain't enough for you. You got to come on here and tell them off again and publicly tell them off in a roundabout way because you just don't feel like you was able to get it all off the way you wanted to get it off when you was trying to get it off. So now you're coming on here continuing to get it off. I don't know who I'm talking about. You know who the ones, you know who you are. When you come on here, you just start to fussing. And then you want to come off like it's a lesson learned. And then you want to bring scripture into it. And then you want to bring God's name into it. And you want to use scripture to justify you coming on here fussing for another 25 30 minutes after you and already told the person off laid them out flat with an iron board and you didn't turn the temperature up to cotton and you depressed them and told them all you want to tell them but you don't think that's enough so you say you know what i'm gonna go on my site and I'm going to continue to tell them right on off because they're going to watch it and they're going to know I'm talking to them. And I'm going to get the points in that I didn't get in when they felt like I should have gotten them in. So now it's my chance to get those points in and really lay them out and finish telling them off. Stop that foolishness and stop lying and using God's name for it and using scriptures and coming out here like you just going to be so nice about it and you just trying to give this lesson or whatever it is that you found a topic to talk on and no doggone skippy you didn't told that person off you didn't read them their rights you didn't argue with them you didn't told them about their self so now you want to continue it so you come on here on youtube if you come up with this bogus topic 
which is pathetic. And then you go to scriptures to try to justify what you're getting off. And you just continue to tell them off. I'm just coming through here in Deborah's Intimate Moments tonight to tell you to cut that foolishness out and go somewhere and sit down. You're ridiculous. People know what you're doing. And if the people that you have the problem with would come and tell people why you're really doing what you're doing and expose you, you might stop that foolishness. But you want to come off like you're so genuine and so earthly and you're just so down to earth. No, you're not. You want people to think you're this certain kind of way? No, you're not. You're really not. Because when you come on and do stuff like that and lay people out like that and continue your argument in an open forum like that to the people so that the people that you know watch what you do and you watch your channel can go back there and see how you fussing at them and continuing that argument, just stop the nonsense. You do better to go back to that person and say, you know what? I didn't get everything off the way I wanted to. So can we continue this instead of coming on here wasting people's time with your foolishness? Because that's exactly what it looks like, foolishness. And it's so obvious. And you're too old and you know better. So cut it out. You know who you are. All right. Toodaloo. Like, share, leave a comment. Toodaloo, toodaloo, toodaloo. Till the next time. Bye-bye.